So, this Gregatron. So a lot of people have been asking me, or telling me, or requesting, hey, you need to make more educational videos as far as weightlifting goes. So, here it is. In my opinion, the best thing you can do, or at least one of the best things, especially for beginners, is focus on this, the barbell. This barbell is one of the best things you can do. You can get closer, take a look at it. This is one of the best things you can work with for gaining strength. And here's why. For one, it's universal. You can use it for different muscle groups, whether it be curls, overhead press, bent over rows, uh, deadlifts. You can do all kinds of stuff. If you have a spade, see that spade right there? You can plug that into that spade and use that for front delts. Or you can take that same object and use it for your rear delts or side delts. But there's like a hundred different things you can do with just a barbell. And for example, I'm going to show you guys curls with just the barbell with no weight. I can get it in, I would say more so with this alone more than all these dumbbells. I shouldn't say all of these dumbbells put together because there's different dumbbells for different things. But you can practice your bench press with the barbell. You really can do anything. And you will make gains, trust me. There's a guy on YouTube, I can't remember who said this, but he talked about how if you want to get stronger in your legs, to do 100 squats with the barbell. And I tried that off and on that year. And the first couple times I couldn't do it, but he said to do 100 reps, and I did that before one time. And it's not easy. So my challenge to you guys, and the legs make sense because your legs are the biggest muscle group you have. So your legs should be stronger than any other muscle group, theoretically. So my challenge to you guys, y'all know who y'all are. Practice with the barbell. Get comfortable with the barbell. Make the barbell your best friend. You can use it for upright ropes too. You can make gains with the barbell. You can even use it for your triceps. And I'm saying all this now because I'm gonna demonstrate. And usually after I'm done demonstrating, I'm out of breath. So last time I tried to do barbell curls, I think I did 30 of them straight. And it exhausts the muscle. And I also realized when I rest for more days, I make more gains. Because now your body has more time to grow back properly. It's not being interrupted. So just take something solid, take something decent like this, and go to failure. Because it's not super heavy, but it feels heavy after a while. Take something, go to failure, and then rest for days on end. And see what type of gains you make. That's the beauty of it. So, come on over here. And I'm gonna show you how important and how useful this is. Like I said, it's 45 pounds. So one might say, that's not very heavy. Well, hold on a second.
So that's 10 right there. And control the weight on the up and the down, the positive and the negative. Try not to swing it around. If you don't have to, don't swing it. That's 11. And it kind of stabilizes your whole body. That's 21. Because your whole body has to get involved. But again, concentrate on what you're doing and control it. That's 30 right there. <sighs> Zoom in on the bicep real quick. It feels like it's just gonna burst out. Does that make sense? But that's what you want. <sighs> And squeeze it at the top. Go up fast. And control it on the way down. You will make gains, I promise. getting a pump right but your bicep should feel like there are balloons about to burst does that make sense a little bit because you just pumped all that work all that blood into that one muscle and yes 45 pounds is not super heavy but in order to make gains you don't need to lift incredibly heavy Take a decent weight like that and just rev out until you can't do anymore. I probably could have did 45 or more possibly. But look at the impact it just had. Look at the effect. That's a simple way to make gains. Try the barbell, whatever exercise you do, whether it's legs, arms, chest, shoulders, whatever muscle group you hit, do the barbell all by itself and see what happens. See if you make gains. Holler at me. All right.